Well, if you're confined to your desk during most of your workday, you probably know only too well that it's not easy to stay on track with healthy eating habits. In fact, avoiding the vending machine or those birthday treats can often be a more daunting task than the biggest project on your to-do list. Well, Mary Michaels is with Live Well Sioux Falls. She's in the studio today to talk about how we can all eat healthy at work. So I'm sitting here, I, before we started today, I, I checked my emails. I got an email from one of my coworkers at, at the uh, office I work at after the show. And what do I find out? They got pumpkin pie waiting for me yeah. with whipped cream. I'm so excited, right? <laughs> But that's the biggest problem. The annual at somebody's birthday, there's cake in the right, break room. Everybody, but yeah. So how do we start with this? Well, the biggest trick really is to plan ahead. That's the biggest tool in your toolbox as you can think, start thinking about it on Sunday or over the weekend with your grocery shopping, even writing up some meal plans, because then you know you can have a better chance at staying on track. Now, sometimes the unexpected comes up, a meeting goes long, or a friend calls you it's a you know a birthday celebration they want to go out for lunch and but if you have a plan you can still navigate through some of those busy days or special occasions yeah and so talk the the planning i think is probably the biggest thing there's probably two things planning and saying no right right to some of the treat things but uh, kayla our associate producer was telling us say she did that today so plan for the week and what a yep. daunting task it was yesterday to plan f every day and kind of pre-package meals. Yeah. So the, talk about the work that goes into that. Well, it can be. Now, you can either do a week at a time, which really sets you up great, because you're, you do it, you spend a lot of time one day, and you're done. But even if you make it part of your daily routine, so maybe when you're fixing supper at night or cleaning up after dinner, you're prepping for your lunch the next day, at least you're doing it that night before, and you're not scrambling in the morning trying to think of, oh, gosh, I need to figure out something to take for lunch today. So even if you don't want to do a whole week at a time, you could still do a day or two thinking about what am I going to have for dinner this night that might be a good leftover lunch that you can pack in yeah. your handy, you know, Tupperware. Fortunately, I have a husband who cooks, so Lucky. that helps me out a lot on mornings when I know I can just grab something out of the refrigerator and go. So it doesn't always have to be a week at a time, but just giving yourself that little bit of extra planning time sure helps. So you brought some examples of some it things that, that might help us yeah. plan a little bit better. Yeah, so for example, we had stir fry last night. So lots of veggies, some boneless pork, so it's a nice lean protein, and it's just all ready to go and warm up. Now, if you didn't want to have the exact same thing, you could repurpose it a little bit. You could take that stir fry and put it in a pita and make a sandwich out of it. Uh, if you have chili, you could bake a baked potato extra and warm that up and have your chili on potato or something. So there's ways that you can switch it up that's not like, oh gosh, now I've eaten the same thing for three days. But even things like your basic sandwich. Hey, mm -hmm. you can, you know, turkey sandwich on bread or whatever. There's ways to even do a little tweaks to that. Try something like a whole grain flatbread. So you're taking some of that, you know, especially if you're doing a sandwich, you want to look for whole grains mm -hmm. as opposed to some of the, like, the white flours. Those are really going to be good with fiber and keeping you full. But this can help you take a few calories out of that sandwich and then load it up with something like a lean turkey or a lean ham or chicken and lots of veggies and just staying away from all the extra heavy mayonnaise and cheese and just what? find find other ways to add some flavor You're taking in there. the fun out of it. Not all the fun. <laughs> you can have this cheese. Oh. I have cheese. It's a little light cheese. It's a great snack, a little protein push. But the other tricks of the trader, you know, like even with the stir fry, piece of fruit. So if you need something a little sweet, try adding a little piece of fruit for that sweetness as opposed to a baked kind of a sweet treat. Uh, if you have, If you like that crunch, you like salty, those are great snacks, but just look for things, again, like whole grain crackers or like these, you know, live veggie straws, but yeah. prepackage them rather than having a box of crackers at your desk or a whole bag that you just reach in and you might not thinking about how much you're taking, prepackage them into like 100 calorie packs or just kind of look at what the serving size is and then you can just grab them out of your cupboard and they're ready to go for snacks. Um, veggies, great snack. and you, Pack a little cup of salsa or a little prepackaged container of hummus or guacamole. You're getting some good fats in there with your vegetables. But again, it's just when you have things on hand that are cut up and ready to go, it's a lot easier. It's uh, one of the things I found is sitting, one of the tips I read is you should probably get up and go away from your desk yeah. because sitting at your desk and working is kind of counterproductive. Yeah, what happens is if you're checking email, you're reading, you're working on a project, what happens is you're probably not thinking about 
what you're eating, so you kind of you're not really eating mindfully. You're just kind of going through the motions, and then all of a sudden you're like, "Did I eat? I'm I'm still hungry because I wasn't really thinking about it." You're not giving your your brain and your stomach time to connect because you're too busy multitasking. Plus, it's just good for your mental health to take that break away from your desk. So even if you go to a break room, or even if you and a coworker meet somewhere else, and you're, even if you're in an office, but you're not facing your computers, yeah. you're not doing work, having some social interaction, hopefully with the weather, if we can get some warm weather, take it outside, find a picnic bench, um, always just to kind of get away from the work for a while, give yourself that little downtime, and really be mindful about what you're eating. And I'm kind of sensing, too, that we should get away from the drawer that we have in our cube or desk or whatever that's filled with boxes of some of the things that we want to have that we can grab real quick when we're hungry. And it just depends on what that is. You know, it's, it's if you have a tendency to... A box to, of these yeah. sitting in there. Yeah, if you can't have the whole box, yeah. then this is probably a better choice. But the nice thing about it, even if you have a healthier snack box in your drawer, that's going to be better than knowing that there's cake in the break room right across the hall. So if you give yourself a, a fighting chance yeah. by having a healthy snack, and the other thing, lots of water. Drink lots of water to keep you full because sometimes you're not even hungry. It's the food is there, so you eat it, or it's a social occasion, so you eat it. So you really have to think about, am I really hungry or am I thirsty? And if you're not really, you know, trying to stay away from the sugary drinks so you don't end up with that sugar crash later. But another thing you can do with water, if it's like, oh, but water's kind of plain, get an infuser bottle mm -hmm. and then fill that with berries or lemon and lime and that gives you that little sweet and flavor to your water to keep you drinking more. Real quick, last question, is there any one piece of advice you might give us that you can say, hey, you know, don't get up and go get that piece of pumpkin pie later today? Well, what I would say is plan ahead. And if you know there's going to be pumpkin pie, you can adjust your day accordingly. Gotcha. Moderation, so have a smaller piece of pie maybe than you normally would have or maybe just half a dollop of whipped cream and not a full <laughs> one, but, but really just plan ahead. Know that you have healthy choices at hand to, to give yourself a, a good chance at staying on track for you. It's about willpower. It is. It's all it it's is. Just a lot of, and that's really just you know, planning and being prepared. Yeah, thanks, Mary, for being here today. So 